Welcome again to the Marketing Study Guide. My name is Jeff and I'm a marketing lecturer at the University of Sydney. And in this video I'll show you how to interpret an overall similarities or an OS perceptual map. Okay, basically this is what a perceptual map of this variety should look like. As you can see, there are only brands listed uh, and scattered around the map. Now, just way of background, we get the data by we ask consumers on a set-by-set -set basis. So in this case, Coke versus Pepsi, how similar are they? And then we ask them for Coke versus Sprite, etc. So we ask them for every single set of brands. So if we're asking um, 10 brands and they compare each of the 10 brands individually on a scale, how similar? Virtually the same all the way down to virtually opposites. Then we use a technique called multi-dimensional scaling which actually produces the perceptual map and that simply looks at a map that has the best fit of the data. And what you should note is an overall similarity map does not have the standard two axes that we normally find in introductory perceptual maps. So there's no axis, there's no measurements running up and down, and there's no quadrants. Okay, so let's go back to our map. How do we use it? Well, the first thing we should see is that the similar competitors or brands are clustered together. And this is really helpful for us to identify um, who are the competitor sets, particularly from the consumer's viewpoint. Which brands do they see as very similar and which ones do they see differently? Now this is very important in marketing because that's going to determine who are our direct competitors and who are our indirect or substitute competitors. And that comes in very handy when we're mapping out our marketing plans. This array of brands also tells us how differentiated our brand or any brand is in the marketplace. Okay, thanks. There's hypothetical data I've provided. You can see that Dr. Pepper has no one near it, so it has a clear point of difference and is quite distinct in the marketplace. Then we've got Coke and Pepsi being close together down the bottom there, which means that they are significant substitutes and many people see them as very, very similar products. And up the top, the Mountain Dew 7-Up set, we have a very cluttered marketplace where we have multiple brands that are all very similar. Another use of the overall similarities perceptual map is in new product development when we're looking at gaps or opportunities in the marketplace. So we were looking for areas where there is no distinct brand in the consumer's minds. Likewise, we might be able to use it not only just for a new product, but also to be able to re reposition our brand. And here I've used an example of Mountain Dew, wishing to move away from a cluttered sort of environment there with a few competitors towards a gap. So we might be able to plan an image change using this sort of map. And this is probably a bit more of a challenging aspect to it. We can see how, how are the consumers actually clustering the brands into sets. Now we don't know that. We've got to work that out. We've got to work out what dimensions or attributes are they probably using. So in this case I've, I've had a guess and said there's, well, there's a clearly a, a cola taste which is down the bottom there. And then there's obviously something to do with diet and sugar running up the up the left hand side and then we've got a fruity taste and then we've got Dr Pepper out by itself which I've referred to as an adult taste. Occasionally the next step of that is to actually mark the, the dimensions and where they're heading. So you could argue that cola and fruit tastes are virtually opposites so people tend to differentiate between them. And obviously there are various options running with, with levels of sugar, particularly with the new product of Pepsi Next, for example, it has about half sugar, half uh, diet drink. 
So there's the dimensions there. And of course you're running away from fruit taste towards more of an adult taste, whether that fruit taste has a perception of being um, more for children. Um, I have made a, a free template that you can use to make these sort of maps. And it's available at that website, perceptualmaps.com. And it's free, easy to use, and ideal for learning about this particular topic.